All right, welcome back. Uh oh, we're the bourbon junkies. I'll get no, no, no. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. I saw you getting. I saw that look in your eye. I was. Eye. Getting, I was. Did you just gently set it on the box? I saw that look in your eye that was gonna be like, how many times can I flip this? That's a hundred from the <laughs> nigger towards the camera and yep. catch it with the other. I had a whole thing planned out. Oh, there's the intro. Okay, so we had patrons, ooh, how you doing? Go we over. had patrons vote lately, recently, on bottles they would like that. us to review. <laughs> um, what? Just next was the word. Next. <laughs> and this was one of them. The bottles that won were midwinters. In this. And they were like almost fucking dead even. Kobe. I gotta keep. <laughs> oh my shack! <laughs> okay, so. The bottles were between this and Midwinter's, and they were like, the last time I checked, they were like dead even. I think they were a percent or two off each other. So this is Woodford Fine Rare from like the end of 2020. That name. It's so bad. But this is the new Masters Collection bottle. Woodford Fine very, Rare. No, very fine rare. Oh, it's not very. Very fine rare. Right there, good sir. It's not very. Very fine <sighs> rare bourbon. <laughs> Listen. Number 16. We missed, we we didn't, we didn't miss. We have missed, this wasn't it. They missed on naming this bottle. With an and? We spoke with our near dear friend, Christopher Hart, and he tells us Brown Foreman can do no wrong and we most of the time agree. We've done wrong with the naming of this bottle. Also, the 16 does not actually reference the age. It, but it kind of does. But it might be. It might hey. be 17 years old. This says um, limited edition series number 16. Now, here's the thing. Is this the 16th Masters Collection? I don't know. Because if so, Sean will put it on the screen. If so, that got it too bad. well, no, but if you just Google, why is this 16 on there? It'd probably just say it's the 16th Masters Collection. The reason I do like that idea, if that's the case, is because then when you go to the store, the next one just says 17, then 18. I like that. Okay. Because the, those don't have Yeah, you, any, have, to, you, you have to find like the batch proof, right. you know what uh, year it is right. or, just know when the brandy cast came exactly. out. Exactly. And, and like, we that. don't, the brandy cast could be number 13. I have no idea. But if you walk into a <laughs> store and they're all in the same bottle, yep. which, they, which they were, then you can look at this and be like, oh, that's number 18. That's the one I wanted. I like that part a lot if that's what they're doing here. Now, the new bottle, I love the new bottle shape. It's incredible. It's way better. We're seven minutes in the video. I should probably smell it. I don't, it got nuttier. Why? Why did it get more okay. nutty? I think they went uh, like Elijah Craig 18 on this. <clears throat> Normally brown format ages down. stuff really well. It's really, really, really oaky. No, I'm back into liking it again. It's very sweet oak it is. on it's the nose. It's amazing, blackberries. But it's very tannic on the palate. Um, candied sugar, <sighs> fruity pebbles. Along with the film, the fruity pebbles leave behind. Did you say blackberries? Yeah. Okay. I agree. I'm so happy you pointed it out. I'm so <laughs> happy you took the time out of your day. <laughs> nice honey in there. So what throws me off is that little in the back, lilac. a little bit of nuttiness. What? I'm, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> move past the fact you just said lilac <laughs> when it's not. That's not how you pronounce the word. They're Wait. lilacs. Nope. Put it in the comments. Tell me who's right. And if you put Sean, so don't leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's not in there. It's not floral. It's just really, if that's oaky, like straight it is really oaky. oak tannins that you're smelling. That is it. No, mm -hmm. is that, it's so sugary. You don't think it's sugary. Confection sugar. It's confectionary. You didn't have an easy bake as a kid, huh? Oven? I'm just gonna say one word at a time from now on <laughs> with long that. pauses. Vanilla frosting on a confetti cake, honestly. Thin. Yeah. Sean, okay, Sean and I, now we've had this bottle a few different times, been open for a month or so, almost. Ew, that's uh, yeah. I'm gonna have a real hard time drinking yeah. if you look at me and make that fucking noise. Yeah. <laughs> everybody thinks, hold on real quick, for everybody okay. watching, everybody thinks we're hammered right now. This is no. our second drink of the night. It's just nighttime. We don't shoot at nighttime often. I'm tired. I would like to go to bed. I'm here seeing Dan instead. Hmm. That rhymed. Should pick up a career in poetry. Okay, I like this. Now we did blind this for whiskey of the year. It didn't make it in. Didn't do well. Gonna last. Be honest. Dead last. Okay, and it didn't come in dead last. 
perfectly dead last. <laughs> what do those words mean? See, there's a weird nuttiness that throws me off. I get a little bit of banana, a little bit, um, like a like a green banana, like it's pre-ripened. Like if you uh, took banana bread, right, and then put some oak staves in it and baked it, but burnt it also. Oh, okay. Um, not a fan. I know what part of it don't you like? The finish. Okay. It's so dry, woody. Ah. When we put it next to other whiskeys. I think the things we didn't like stand out, stand out more having it right now by itself alone. I'm a big fan. It tastes way older than 16 years in my, I think it's 17. So that makes sense. That's 12 more months. Way older. That's 365 more days. Okay. That's a lot of days. We have 23 year bourbon that doesn't taste this oaky to me. Okay. So I don't, I think that the oak is just more forward, right? Because you say the finish, the (laughs) finish. (laughs) <laughs> has, what? The finish does have like a, a little bit bitter espresso bean, coffee bean note. Don't to church it. it up. I'm not churching up. I'm telling you what it tastes like. Tannic oak. No, it's not tannic. There's no, it's not tannin-esque. This is about 130 bucks. Now it is what? 90.4 proof, which I think was initially what I thought was going to be a, the bummer about it was what? the proof being low. Uh-huh. I think at hundred proof, this might be, I don't know. Maybe it's more okay. These are the things you wonder like shower thoughts for whiskey people. I I just can't get on board with this. I, I think everybody knows that. That's all you've said this whole video so far. We're 12 minutes in and all you've done is say, I don't like it. That's literally it. What I, part? The finish. I've made faces. It doesn't smell that bad. I hate you. With the white hot intensity of a thousand suns. Okay. Oh man, your comparison a little bit is honestly closer than I expected it to be. It really is. Thin oak. The wood that, better. That, I don't actually know. No, okay. I think this has a better flavor profile. And mouthfeel. Yeah, this is so, this is like drinking water. Yeah. It that is. is so thin. This is at least oily. Yes. It gave me a little appreciation for this bottle, I guess. Yeah. Um, it is so very you would oily. say the Elijah Greg's worse then. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it's just not my jam. It's too oaky for me. All right, I, great. I, I don't think you want that. I don't think anyone wants that. 100, I believe, $30? D plus. Whoa, oh my, that's just actually rude. Yep. You want <clears throat> D plus? Yeah. That's rude as shit. I, I, I don't think it's worth $130. 130, I'm going B. I, I'm offended. <laughs> it's that's good, I really like it. High. I enjoy this whiskey. Okay. I enjoy the bottle. I enjoy the glass. I enjoy the whiskey. I don't enjoy the marketing on the front. My hand twitched because I just want to smash it. You went, you reach for your knife. That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, I think it's, it's drastically better than that. Yeah. And I think I gave that a D plus. Yeah, that Elijah Craig. Here, I got some. That's so, Woodford fine rare. you know what? Realistically, as a limited bottle, it does. If you're not into ultra age whiskeys, do not buy it. You won't enjoy it. It is really oaky. It's not oaky like Elijah Craig 18. It's not oaky like Rhetoric 25. Well. <laughs> okay, wait, this or Rhetoric 25 for you? Hot take, Rhetoric 24. That's yeah. basically I don't know the, the last same time shit. I was pressurized. This, a million now. times this. Yeah, I'll take Rhetoric 24 over that. Really? Mm-hmm. That's by far better. Uh, you, can, you can do the outro, I'll taste it. Okay, we're the Ribbon Junkies. Dan Gray too high. Like, comment, subscribe. Find us on Tuesdays, we live stream. Mondays and Thursdays, we put out videos. I don't know, what didn't I say? Please to the point.